Here at Model AI, we work to bring artificial intelligence technologies that adapt to the unique challenges of the video games industry. And sometimes that can mean replicating things we take for granted into something that can actually be fun. And there's no better example than stealth games. The stealth genre of video games is really difficult to get right. Whether you're playing Splinter Cell, Invisible Ink, or Dishonored, it's all about ensuring players can determine the perfect opportunity to sneak into locations, do their business, and get out successfully. They may have to eliminate an enemy or steal an object, but they will want to make as little commotion as possible. It's a combination of preparation and planning, but also about being able to understand how and when guards and other security systems will detect you as you move around the space. Stealth games are really difficult balancing acts for non-player characters. Because you have to make sure the NPCs have sensors that can help them see and hear what's happening around them. And then you have to dumb them down so the player can move around without being spotted instantly. Tiff, the dark project released back in 1998, sets the standard for AI in pretty much every stealth game that followed it. And in each case, it's all about creating reproductions of human senses in a way that's, well, <laughs> they aren't very realistic. Trying to reproduce human vision can be quite odd. A common tactic is to use a vision cone, which is the fixed range in front of the character's head. If the player walks into that range and nothing is blocking their view, then the character has spotted you. This becomes all the way more complicated when you start factoring in things like smoke and lighting, given the game engine, they can still see you. So you have to pretend these things will impact your vision. The same applies to hearing, but it's even harder to make that work right. Simulating a sound being made is really difficult to do because calculating the occlusion and reflection of sound waves is quite complicated. So often the trick is to find a way to simulate it as cheaply, but as accurately as possible. Once you get these sensors working, you then have to figure out priorities. If the character sees one thing and then another, which one was more important? If they heard something else when all that happened, does that take priority? But once it's all in there, you then need to make sure that players understand how these senses work. Some games give a small delay between you first being detected and the character acting upon it. Games like Far Cry show the detection meter increasing while Splinter Cell will have character investigate disturbances, where they pretend they didn't see you, and while cover to get a closer look. Some games even show you the vision cones. You could literally see them in the minimap of Metal Gear Solid, while Third Eye Crime has them appear in the world as characters move around. The one sense most games avoid is smell. You can often communicate to a player whether an AI can see you, or if they heard you make a sound. But smell is really difficult to get right. How sensitive should the olfactory senses be? How do you communicate? How smelly the player is? What about wind? Besides, it does seem a bit creepy if an AI can smell you, doesn't it? Hmm, you're right Julian, that is a bit weird. But stick around here at Model AI as we continue to explore the less creepy and less smelly history of AI for games.